Happy Monday, everyone. It's time for Ask the Expert with Rob Sutherland from Pro Broker Agency. I'm Layla Gulen. Rob, my first question to you this week is, how can a small business create more cash flow? Really important question. The question on everybody's mind, really. How can you create more cash flow in your life? I think a small business to create more cash flow has to focus on sales. A lot of the time, if you've got a small business, it's all about the admin, catering to the clients, and making sure the clients are happy every day, and what's going on with the clients, and do we get that stuff for the clients, and are the clients okay? Did I say clients enough times there to, to put in my point? The thing is, is, if you're just focused on a certain set of clients, you're not gonna be focused on the new ones. And the only way to get to the new ones is to be focused on sales and to really become you know, a capitalist. What is the number one killer of small businesses? I think the lack of ability to sell things, right? Because that's obviously the one thing. If you're a lawyer and you join a law firm, that's not a small business. If you're trying to start a flower shop on the street, that's a small business, right? How are you gonna get those clients? Maybe you've got a nice cart, you're out there yelling at people, come buy my flowers, they're a good price, that type of thing works, right? But I think a lot of people don't realize the effort it goes into actually taking a product to market and getting people to buy it, right? Like that's one of the things, you've got all these tools out there today where you've got social media, email marketing, call centers, all this kind of stuff where you can buy data from like Zoom info and create a list of things. If you don't make that your modus operandi, no one's gonna care about your flower shop. Sure. Now, there are a lot of successful people out there that make it look really easy, leading others to believe that they can do the same. Do you have to be a wizard at sales to start a business? I love the word wizard. Isn't it just fun to say? Wizard. It is. <laughs> right? I love it. Um, but the thing is, is yes, you do need to be a wizard at sales unless you're a genius like Mark Zuckerberg who can come up with a website, maybe he stole it, maybe he didn't, or whatever, that people want no matter what. You've created a product that people are lining up the door for, you don't have to focus on sales. That's that's one very lucky path to being coming an entrepreneur, becoming successful. A guy like myself who became an entrepreneur after years and years of hard work is because I tried product after product after product, trying to see which one would fit with an audience that would be receptive to how I sold things, right? And does that make me a sales wizard? No, it absolutely makes me somebody who tries and tries again. It's called, you know, changing your approach. That doesn't mean you have to be some God-given salesperson or some master marketer to become at it. You just got to keep working and look at what fails and look at what succeeds and try and always go for the stuff that succeeds. Very insightful, Rob. Thank you so much for that. And for more information on PBA, just click on the link below, probrokeragency.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again on Friday for another episode of Ask the Expert with Rob Sutherland. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to talk shop, book an appointment down below. I'd love to hear more about your business.